thriving and surviving is in hell. Nina wanted to share with us some insight of whom and why she is the person she is today. In preparing this presentation, Nina found herself looking back and re-examining her strengths. With that, ladies and gentlemen, Thriving and Surviving by Nina Howard. situation for a young person and so this is this is me about that age my brother and sister were young and so they weren't they didn't have the capacity to take care of me and so that was a difficult situation and I kind of had to find my way through the state system and places to live and that type of thing but what was, you know, what was really pointed out to me at that moment was someone said, it's time, you got to get on it. It's your responsibility to move forward in life. And I took that to heart and I was scared and I was alone. And it, I had some huge motivators right there in that moment. Uh, motivators were, I was alone. I thought there's a real possibility I could be homeless. I could be hungry. Thankfully, very thankfully, I had some amazing people that came into my life. And uh, that was a real big turning point. And the other thing that happened was I developed some amazing strengths, some character strengths that might not have happened if the circumstances were different. And so one of the very first strengths that, um, that came about was my ability to read body, language, hear tone and inflection in people. And so in business, in volunteer work, um, in safety situations, I could take in that information. The other piece of that was I had this uncanny ability to see the, the bright side in the very smallest uh, situations. So whether it was a person or something that was going on, I was the person that said, oh, did you see that great thing? So uh, that was another really important um, aspect. The next uh, strength, I think, that developed was my ability to develop relationships. I didn't have the typical family, so I needed to build that structure around me that wasn't there. So I built that structure with mentors and in volunteer groups, in golfing, in poker. And those people I have known for 20, 25 years. And I have tended to those relationships, and I have treated people with kindness and respect and it has just come back to me in just a, in an amazing way. And that was a big catalyst in my life. And that catalyst took me to my next strength. And my next strength was <laughs> I had this, this idea that I could do anything. I was 13 years old. I started work. And you could put me in any situation. And I would find the person and the resources and everything that needed to get that project done, and I would get it done. And so I was very successful uh, in the jobs that I had. And so the entrepreneurs 
depended on me. They depended on me to lead their companies, educate their employees, entrusted me with large sums of money, and uh, it was a very uh, rewarding and valuable, uh, I felt valued. So, I think maybe a, a point that was, I need to mention is, in those situations, maybe it was just because of my situation, I was absolutely wholly committed to those situations, like volunteer work or a job or a task. And so even today, with all that information and all that, um, that good experience, I can't go into a retail shop or I can't go into a volunteer situation without seeing the things that I already know, which is there's an improvement there or there's a suggestion there or we could tweak that. And I just can't stop myself from doing it. So uh, it's, it's, it's part of the fabric of who I am now because I've done that for so many years, for 25 years. I am very thankful to be here with all of you and to have the opportunity to get to know you over time. But I think I am most thankful to this little girl that was able to take the situation of surviving and turn the corner and thrive. Thank you.